Chapter 4 And the word of Samuel came to all Israel. Now Israel went out to battle against the Philistines. They encamped at Ebenezer, and the Philistines encamped at Aphek. The Philistines drew up in line against Israel, and when the battle spread, Israel was defeated before the Philistines, who killed about four thousand men on the field of battle. And when the people came to the camp, the elders of Israel said, Why has the Lord defeated us today before the Philistines? Let us bring the ark of the covenant of the Lord here from Shiloh, that it may come among us and save us from the power of our enemies. So the people sent to Shiloh and brought from there the ark of the covenant of the Lord of hosts, who is enthroned on the cherubim. And the two sons of Eli, Hophni and Phinehas, were there with the ark of the covenant of God. As soon as the ark of the covenant of the Lord came into the camp, all Israel gave a mighty shout, so that the earth resounded. And when the Philistines heard the noise of the shouting, they said, What does this great shouting in the camp of the Hebrews mean? And when they learned that the ark of the Lord had come to the camp, the Philistines were afraid, for they said, A god has come into the camp. And they said, Woe to us, for nothing like this has happened before. Woe to us! Who can deliver us from the power of these mighty gods? These are the gods who struck the Egyptians with every sort of plague in the wilderness. Take courage and be men, O Philistines, lest you become slaves to the Hebrews, as they have been to you. Be men and fight. So the Philistines fought, and Israel was defeated, and they fled every man to his home. And there was a very great slaughter, for thirty thousand foot soldiers of Israel fell. And the ark of God was captured, and the two sons of Eli, Hophni and Phinehas, died. A man of Benjamin ran from the battle line and came to Shiloh the same day, with his clothes torn and with dirt on his head. When he arrived, Eli was sitting on his seat by the road watching, for his heart trembled for the ark of God. And when the man came into the city and told the news, all the city cried out. When Eli heard the sound of the outcry, he said, What is this uproar? Then the man hurried and came and told Eli. Now Eli was ninety-eight years old, and his eyes were set so that he could not see. And the man said to Eli, I am he who has come from the battle. I fled from the battle today. And he said, How did it go, my son? He who brought the news answered and said, Israel has fled before the Philistines, and there has also been a great defeat among the people. Your two sons also, Hophni and Phinehas, are dead, and the ark of God has been captured. As soon as he mentioned the ark of God, Eli fell over backward from his seat by the side of the gate, and his neck was broken, and he died, for the man was old and heavy. He had judged Israel forty years. Now his daughter-in-law, the wife of Phinehas, was pregnant, about to give birth. And when she heard the news that the ark of God was captured, and that her father-in-law and her husband were dead, she bowed and gave birth, for her pains came upon her. And about the time of her death, the women attending her said to her, Do not be afraid, for you have borne a son. But she did not answer or pay attention. And she named the child Ichabod, saying, The glory has departed from Israel, because the ark of God had been captured and because of her father-in-law and her husband. And she said, The glory has departed from Israel, for the ark of God has been captured. Chapter 5 When the Philistines captured the ark of God, they brought it from Ebenezer to Ashdod. Then the Philistines took the ark of God and brought it into the house of Dagon and set it up beside Dagon. And when the people of Ashdod rose early the next day, behold, Dagon had fallen face downward on the ground before the ark of the Lord. So they took Dagon and put him back in his place. But when they rose early on the next morning, behold, Dagon had fallen face downward on the ground before the ark of the Lord, and the head of Dagon, and both his hands were lying cut off on the threshold. Only the trunk of Dagon was left to him. This is why the priests of Dagon and all who enter the house of Dagon do not tread on the threshold of Dagon in Ashdod to this day. The hand of the Lord was heavy against the people of Ashdod, and he terrified and afflicted them with tumors, both Ashdod and its territory. And when the men of Ashdod saw how things were, they said, The ark of the God of Israel must not remain with us, for his hand is hard against us and against Dagon our God. So they sent and gathered together all the lords of the Philistines and said, What shall we do with the ark of the God of Israel? They answered, Let the ark of the God of Israel be brought around to Gath. So they brought the ark of the God of Israel there. But after they had brought it around, the hand of the Lord was against the city, causing a very great panic. And he afflicted the men of the city, both young and old, so that tumors broke out on them. So they sent the ark of God to Ekron. But as soon as the ark of God came to Ekron, the people of Ekron cried out, They have brought around to us the ark of the God of Israel to kill us and our people. They sent therefore and gathered together all the lords of the Philistines and said, Send away the ark of the God of Israel, and let it return to its own place, that it may not kill us and our people. For there was a deathly panic throughout the whole city. The hand of God was very heavy there. The men who did not die were struck with tumors, and the cry of the city went up to heaven. Chapter 24 But on the first day of the week, at early dawn, they went to the tomb, taking the spices they had prepared. 
and they found the stone rolled away from the tomb. But when they went in, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. While they were perplexed about this, behold, two men stood by them in dazzling apparel. And as they were frightened and bowed their faces to the ground, the men said to them, Why do you seek the living among the dead? He is not here, but has risen. Remember how he told you while he was still in Galilee that the Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified and on the third day rise. And they remembered his words, and returning from the tomb they told all these things to the eleven and to all the rest. Now it was Mary Magdalene and Joanna and Mary the mother of James and the other women with them who told these things to the apostles. But these words seemed to them an idle tale, and they did not believe them. But Peter rose and ran to the tomb. Stooping and looking in, he saw the linen cloths by themselves, and he went home marveling at what had happened. Hello and welcome to Bible Time. Today, 1 Samuel chapter 4 and 5. The Israelites were in war with the Philistines. Philistines attacked and killed 4,000 men. The Israelites thought that bringing the Ark of the Covenant will help them win, so they brought it from Shiloh. And the Eli's sons escorted the Ark. But still they were defeated by the Philistine. Both Eli's sons were killed. Now the Ark of the Covenant was captured by the Philistines. Now when this tragic news was told to Eli, both of his son dying and also the Ark was captured, he fell backward from his chair and died. His daughter-in-law also died after giving a birth to a son whose name is Ichabod, which means glory of God has left. Now the Philistines didn't know what to do with the Ark of the Covenant, so first they took it to Eshdod, next to the idol they placed the Ark. The next morning, Dagon fell to the ground, bowing down to the Ark. So they put it back up, and the next day it fell again, but this time his head and limbs are chopped off. And the people were suffered from plagues of boil, so they said, take it back to somewhere. So they took it to Gath, and same thing happened, people were plagued with the boils. Next they transferred to Ekron and the people fear and more boils began to outbreak and people were dying. So people cried out to take this ark back to where it came from because they're dying. Now Luke chapter 24 verse 1 through 12 a day after Sabbath on Sunday, the women brought spice for ointment to put on the body of Jesus at the tomb of Jesus. So they saw the tomb stone had been rolled away and they looked inside in the, of the tomb, but the body of Jesus was missing. Then they saw two angels telling them that Jesus was raised from the dead, just like he said. So the woman ran to the disciple, told them what had happened. Now the disciples were thought that they were crazy, they did not believe. Peter, however, went to the tomb to see for himself and went into the tomb but only saw the linen which was wrapped around Jesus' body, but Jesus was not there. This is important because some people believe that Jesus' body has been stolen. If you stole a body, you do not just undo the linen and then take the body you take the whole thing so that doesn't make any sense did jesus resurrect it what are the evidence stone rolled away angels testify the linen were put there but the body was not there and jesus told his disciples numerous times that he will rise again on the third day so just by these evidence in through this verse there are more to be found in the later passage but we know that jesus was raised from the grave he is alive let us pray father we thank you so much for your word we thank you that lord that you have given your life for our sin but not only that but you're raised back to life just as you said father thank you you are alive today and you are now seated at the right hand of god and one day we will see you face to face. Thank you for your great work because we believe that because you live, we will live also. When we die, we will raise back just as you have. We thank you for that promise in Jesus' name. Amen.